What's going on guys? Today we have a 15 minute jump rope workout for beginners. Now I always wanna preface these videos by saying this is gonna be a really effective jump rope workout. So even if you're not a beginner, this is gonna make you sweat. It's gonna help you lose weight and get lean like we talk about on this channel. But if you are a beginner, a lot of the moves in this workout are very basic. And so I think you'll be able to follow along relatively easy. So today, like I said, this is gonna be a great workout if you're advanced, great workout if you're a beginner. And if you can't do some of these moves, then just go ahead and do the regular bounce. The thing that we care about the most is that you're jumping for the entirety of the workout. So I'm just starting off here. Again, form is everything in these workouts. Uh, notice how I'm barely coming off the ground about one to two inches. My knees are slightly bent. I'm looking straight ahead. Now my elbows are not as close to my body as, uh, as they should be, to be honest. Mine jut out a little bit more than they should be, but it's tough for me to bring them in the whole way. Um, just because I have some issues with my my back, but for the most part my form's pretty good and uh, That's the biggest thing with jump rope. You just want to be doing less You don't want to be trying to spin the rope so much with your wrists. See how I'm just kind of letting the rope come I'm sort of guiding the rope around with the momentum that I'm using. Um, it's a very simple um, but very effective motion. So here we go again. We're moving up to the half pound rope and I this is, you know, this is the set that we use in most of our workouts. It's my favorite just because it's so versatile. You can do a lot of tricks with this jump rope, but at the same time, you can get a very effective workout. I know it's only half a pound. That doesn't sound like much, but it is pretty incredible how tired you can get spinning that baby real fast. So if you guys are a beginner, by the way, I want you to just focus on doing as much as you can for this workout. Don't try to overexert yourself if you can't go as fast as i am that's totally fine you don't need to com don't compare yourself to what i'm doing um, because you will get better at this the more that you do this and by the way i would recommend if you're someone who is a beginner try doing this jump rope workout start off with like you know maybe doing this one like anywhere from two to three times per week if you've already like jumped a little bit of rope and are past that that point by the way check out our injury playlist or uh, specifically a video how much should you jump rope per day to lose weight that'll give you the background of like you know if you're a beginner this is how how you should ease into jumping rope so you don't injure yourself so having said that if you are a beginner and you've made it past that stage and now you're just starting to get into full length workouts try and complete this two to three times per week and then also you can move up to trying to do this every morning um, this is one workout that I really love and do very frequently. So we're just running in place with the half pound, getting the sweat going. And um, yeah, get after it. Do the thing. Let's make this count. This is only going to be about a 15 minute workout. So just make sure that you're giving it as much effort as you possibly can, guys. That's, that's all we care about here. All right. And push ups. So push-ups you don't need to rush through these because again I the biggest thing that if you want to build muscle um, and do it the right way and have just good athleticism I don't, I don't really know how else to put this but like you want to have good form you don't want to be slamming your joints or your chest into the ground notice how I'm still going at a moderate pace but I'm not going too fast and uh, as you can see I'm coming up the whole way chest is going down the whole way I'm breathing in through my nose out through my mouth and uh, yeah I mean we out here building muscle, guys, okay? One day, one workout at a time. It's all about consistency. That's why we have do the thing. Uh, you know, that's the main slogan of our business is because these 30, you know, 15, 30 minute workouts, it's not about doing, you know, three hours of working out once a month. It's about doing just these every single day, creating the habit, creating the habit. Um, now we have boxer skip. So quarter pound, about 10 seconds left. Good guys. And remember, you're breathing this whole time for these workouts should be, <coughs> excuse me, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, and we have boxer skip with the quarter pound. This is one of my favorite moves just because I can do it continuously for a long time because you're shifting the weight back and forth. But I can spin the rope fast enough that I get really tired and I feel like I'm getting an amazing cardio workout, but I'm also getting a great muscular workout. That's really why we love these cross ropes so much is because the workout and the fitness aspect, like I feel that these ropes make you a better athlete. I mean, I think jumping rope in general makes you a better athlete, but one thing I definitely know with weighted ropes is that 
it really is a total body workout and gets you prepared for a lot of other sports. If you're someone who kayaks a lot, snowboards, surfs, plays soccer or football, um, you're a baseball player, basketball player, it just helps to improve your reaction time. And I think um, using the weighted ropes as a result of that is a big help as well. So now we moved up fast skip with the quarter pound. By the way, guys, if you need help with any of these tutorials, tutorials or anything, just go to our YouTube channel, check out our tutorials page. It'll tell you how to do fast skip, boxer skip, all that kind of stuff. So if you're brand, brand new and you need some help, we got you. It's all good. All right, now we're doing fast skip with the half pound. Right now in the workout, you might be getting to that point where you're starting to get a little bit tired. I mean, I'm even tired in this workout. Like we shot, it's a 15 minute workout. By about this point, I'm trying to act all cool, you know, like not making any faces or anything. I'm starting to get pretty tired because 30 seconds of jump rope with only 10 seconds off. Repeatedly, <coughs> excuse me, especially if you're going at a moderate or, you know, to high pace, it's gonna get you tired. So you might wanna start, you might get that feeling right now where you're like, you know what? I don't know if I wanna do the full workout. You need to just kill that voice inside your head. Let's just finish this thing. Go as hard as you can. Let's just do it. Let's do the thing. Good, guys. Now, for ab crunchers, the whole idea here is that your back doesn't fully touch the ground and your heels also never fully touch the ground as well. So you're sort of flexed throughout this, but what you want to try and do is just meet in the middle. Now, you can do hands behind the head. You can do them folded across your chest. Um, you can do these alternating ones like you see me doing here where I'm coming my right elbow up to my left knee and vice versa. Um, just as long as your back and your heels are not touching the ground and you're meeting in the middle. Back to regular bounce. So we're about halfway through the workout here. So we're back to regular bounce with the quarter pound. Um, what you might wanna do is start focusing on your speed here. If you're someone who has regular bounce down, um, you know, I've been doing regular bounce for about 10 years, so this comes pretty naturally, naturally to me at this point. But the one thing I try to challenge myself is to just continue to speed the rope up faster and faster and just make sure that I am exerting myself as much as possible. Now we got the same thing with the half pound rope. Again, just regular bounce. Good guys. Good, keep it up, keep it up, come on. So we got tutorials on this channel, we have other workouts. The whole point of this channel is for you to just pick up an easy workout tool like the jump rope, go outside, go in your garage. If you're at the gym, go to the gym, wherever. Just pick up the jump rope and start getting after it. There's so many benefits to jumping rope, both cardiovascular, your physique, overall, you know, even mental health. I think there's a lot that can be said about this form of exercising and focusing and uh, keeping your alertness, which jump rope does. So let's get after it, guys. Let's finish the workout strong. Jump rope run in place. Now notice here for jump rope run in place, I'm not doing high knees and I'm not, my heels aren't kicking that far back. Uh, I think the best jump rope form is just when it looks like you're not really doing that much. So I am running in place here, but it's very subtle. My, I, I'm only coming an inch to two inches off the ground. <clears throat> my wrists are controlling, my wrists and forearms are controlling the rope. I'm looking straight ahead and I'm staying in the same place. That's also a big thing. You don't want to be moving, you, you don't want to be moving all over the place when you're skipping. You should try to remain in the same spot. Here we go, run in place with the half pound. Now this one's a little bit tougher because you might have to slow your legs down a little bit because you're gonna be spinning the rope at a little bit slower pace. And by the way, good job guys. We're about nine minutes, 44. We're about nine minutes through the workout. Um, like I said, it's about a 15 minute workout. So let's crush the last five minutes and just be done with it. That's my biggest, the reason we're always talking about intensity on this channel. There's no point in exercising. Your body's not gonna change and adapt if you don't push it and challenge it to its limits. You, and, and you have other stuff to do. Like you're, you know, you have a life, you have a social life, you have work, you have, you know, friends, family, things you wanna do. Don't half-ass your workouts. 
take your workout seriously, challenge yourself so you can adapt and you can actually progress um, and do it fast. Do it, you know, within this half hour. Don't just kind of jog on the treadmill for an hour and not really get anywhere. There's no point in, in, in going to the gym if you're just going to do that. So I highly encourage you guys, whatever skill level you're at, to just go as hard as you can. And that's going to be different for everyone, but that's okay. This is a, a you versus you type thing. Good guys, we got the quarter pound, jump rope, boxer skip. Very good. About five minutes left, let's crush it guys, come on. All right, boxer skip with the half pound. As you can see here, clearly I'm starting to get pretty sweaty from this, out of breath. Good guys, come on. This is the part of the workout when you wanna keep pushing, keep pushing. It's Listen, it's only gonna be 15 minutes. If you do the circuit twice, it's 30 minutes. Go at your highest level of intensity, okay? Quarter pound fast skip. Here we go, guys. Last couple minutes of the workout. Try to do, go at your utmost intensity. Go at your top speed is what I'm trying to say. And by the way, if you need, like I said, we have tutorials on this channel that'll teach you, you know, how to do some of these jump rope moves. And if you need to modify, that's okay. We don't care if you do regular bounce for this whole entire workout. The thing that we care about most is that you just complete the workout, don't give up on yourself, and just continue to progress in terms of your skill level. Here we go, jump rope fast skip with the half pound. Fast skip a lot of people get confused with. Really, it's a one foot hops twice while the opposite foot just swings forward, or sorry, back and, fo and then forward. So left foot hops twice as the right goes back forward, then vice versa. It's more of a muscle memory thing. After you get these, after you start doing some of these and you see us doing them in the tutorials in slow-mo, you kind of just have to pick up your jump rope and practice it and over time it will make more sense how to do it because your, your mind and body will just make that connection. And here again, we have, here again, we have uh, ab crunchers. And again, the biggest thing that you wanna watch out for here is that your heels are not touching the ground. And again, your, your head or your back is not touching the ground. And I'm also doing, you don't have to do these. I just like to do the alternating. I don't know why. It's just my, you know, just what I like to do. Good, almost done guys, keep pushing, let's go. And uh, just a reminder, if you want the jump rope, the, the, the get lean set, the quarter pound and the half pound that we use for pretty much every workout, um, that's linked up in the description. 15, you can get 15% off with code do the thing, all one word. And all one word capitalized, I believe actually. But yeah guys, if you're new to this channel and you're an athlete or someone trying to lose weight, I really highly suggest that you jump rope, not for the sake of following us. You know, I'm not asking just you to subscribe if you don't find these videos helpful. I'm just saying, listen, I've seen in myself, my own experience um, and through other people that when they started jumping rope and really got it down, it unlocks not only a, a great weight loss and fitness tool, but a, a path to more athleticism, better, better reaction time, more alertness. Um, just makes you makes me feel more agile I'm more flexible it's just it's just like a it's a training tool for everything you know that's that's what I love about jump rope it's it's training for everything also uh, I'm gonna let you guys know this video is sponsored by us at jump rope dudes and uh, just a reminder to check out jumprope dudes.tv TV 
is our app. It's where every single one of the Jump Rope Dude uh, workout programs is housed now. Um, it's a monthly subscription, $14.99 a month. Cancel at any time, no worries. It's basically like Netflix. Like to be honest with you, for 15 bucks a month, access to every single workout program we've created, we're creating new ones monthly, and access to all the ones we're going to create. It's a steal, it's pretty awesome. There's also a community forum in there so you can get accountability and a coaching coaching through uh, myself, Brandon, some other people at on the JRD team. So check it out. I mean, you know, say what up. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys doing this workout today. Hope you got something from it. Have a great day. Keep doing the thing.